19 degrees in Melbourne, becoming sunny tomorrow, a top of 28. It's 12 midday. Good afternoon. I'm David Armstrong. Close to a thousand people have been evacuated from their homes as driving rain sweeps across the west of the state. Dennis O'Kane begins our coverage. The Loddon, Compasti, Avoca and Wimmera rivers are flooding, sending deep water into a number of towns and across farmland. Lachlan Quick from the SES says much of the problems are from flash flooding. The road closures and everything associated with that is flash flooding due to the sheer volume of rain we're seeing. We're now going to start to move into that riverine flooding which will take probably a couple of days. The evacuation alerts have been issued for Falls Gap, Beaufort, Great Western, Charlton, Creswick, Glenorchy and closer to Melbourne in Werribee. More townships are likely to go under this afternoon as the Compasby River continues to rise. The heavy rain continues, putting Kerrang and Charlton also in danger. But one bit of relief, the rain is starting to ease around Halls Gap and Horsham, and people are being urged to stay clear of the flood. Numerous roads in the west and central Victoria remain cut, including the western highway between Ballarat and Horsham. Dennis O'Kane, State Emergency Control Centre. Emergency Services Minister Peter Ryan fears parts of the West are facing the worst flooding in decades. He is urging people to heed flood warnings. Don't go near flood water. Don't drive through it. Don't walk through it. That is most likely to be the circumstance where the ultimate disaster occurs and we lose lives. Creswick residents are gathering in relief centres as flood waters sweep through much of their town. Nick Butler is there. A short break in the weather brought about a few smiling faces in the main street of Creswick, but for many the damage is already done. The Creswick Creek burst its banks this morning, ruining low-lying houses and causing thousands of dollars of damage to businesses. With more rain predicted today, the sandbagging continues. Resident Margaret has spent the morning helping the elderly. And the elderly, just they just want to stay and protect and that's understandable. In the relief centre, people are staying positive with chess games and cups of tea, but the reality is many have lost everything. Nick Butler. Creswick. And residents of Carisbrook near Maryborough have been asked by police to evacuate the town this hour. Carisbrook residents are being taken by trucks to Maryborough. Motel owner Lance Graham is overlooking the town. Where we are up on the hill, we can't get into the township of Carisbrook because the road's been closed. When I was down there this morning, there was about five or six houses at least inundated with water. The roadhouse was inundated with water. There was water crossing the highway on the other side. And residents are reporting in Clunes near Ballarat the flooding is worse than what the town went through in September. Brendan Gulliver from the Ballarat Courier says they're bracing for flood waters from nearby Creswick. Um, in the main street, Fraser Street, all the shops have been sandbagged and the water is uh, covering part of the road. Um, about 20 houses are now underwater or partly underwater. Um, and many more have been evacuated. The caravan park has been evacuated um, and the uh, water is lapping at the front door of the elderly citizens club. And here in Melbourne, the lower running track along the Yarra River is now underwater. Nelson says he's never seen it underwater. Just come over the Swan Street Bridge between Alexandra Parade and Batman Avenue. The lower walkway of um, the Yarra River there is underwater now. Three CFA volunteers are being hailed heroes for leaping into a surging stormwater drain at Bunding near Balan to rescue a trapped 14-year-old boy. The teen had been riding his motorbike when he fell over and was set, swept into the drain. One of his rescuers, Ian Ireland, says he was trapped up to his neck. When he went into the water, the, um, the, the suction of the water through these 300 uh, mil concrete pipes drew his legs in. So his legs, his um, calves went in up to his knee joints. And he was lucky enough that the, bo the, the force of the water pushed his body up straight, so he was virtually at 90 degrees to the uh, pipe. Around 2,000 homes have had power restored in central and western Victoria this morning. Power Corps now has only 13,000 households without power.